Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the lint filter housing seal on your dryer. Really easy repair. Let me show you how we do it. Now to change this part, we simply need to remove the access panel on the bottom of the dryer. However, that will expose us to some electrical circuits. So the first thing we need to do is turn off the power. So either unplug the dryer or locate the electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker or remove the appropriate fuses. And then we can start the repair. Now, depending on your model, you may have two, three or four screws across the bottom of this access panel. They're typically quarter inch hex head screws. So we'll just go ahead and remove all of those. And just support that panel as you remove the last screw. Allow it to drop down and then we'll set that aside. Now our next step will be to open up the dryer door and we're going to remove the lint filter. And just set that aside. And then we can close that door up again. The next we'll remove two screws down in the lower housing portion. And as well, there will be two more screws up close to the top of that housing that we'll need to remove. So we'll just remove both of those. And then we'll lift that housing away. Now we can take that lint filter housing, set it on a suitable work surface, remove what's left of the old seal and replace it. Now with that housing on a suitable surface, we're going to remove what's left of that old seal And you'll need a putty knife or a sharp flat blade screwdriver to remove all the excess. And use caution when working with this piece because there are some sharp edges. Take a wire brush and try to remove the last bit. And once we have that edge nice and clean so that the new adhesive will adhere to it, just center it on there to make sure that we don't come up short. And we'll peel off the backing to expose the adhesive surface. And just follow along the edge of that opening. Make sure it's firmly stuck onto that housing. And now we're ready to put the lint filter housing back onto the dryer. So next we'll make sure that we fit that up around the opening from that lint filter housing. Install these two upper screws first. show that we tuck the lower edge of that up over the lip on the bottom of that cabinet and then we'll install those two brass colored screws make sure they're tight and securely and then we're ready to put the access panel back on so we'll tuck the top edge under the door panel first, make sure it's pressed up as far as it will go, and then we'll put the two corner screws in first. If your model has 
either one or two more screws on the bottom. We'll put those in next. You may need to flex the bottom of that panel to access the screw holes. And now we're ready to push the dryer back into place. With the dryer back in place, we're ready to reconnect the power and your repair is complete.